cafe anyway. Hello hey. there. Mike's Daily Podcast. Welcome to Mike's Daily Podcast here at Cafe Anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley, the last place on earth in the land of Meritopica. It is FF episode Mike's Daily Podcast 2819 2819. And Mike Matthews, I hope you are doing fine. We are singing a little bit at the beginning of this podcast. I want to thank you so much for being a listener to it that's why this has lasted so long and so long Mike's daily podcast just kidding i'm not saying so long but i guess if i was the fall guy Mike's not daily lee majors podcast but was it ryan gosling yeah the fall guy made a disappointing 28.5 million dollars in its debut at the North American box office. Although I know someone that went. They said, oh, it's a great movie. <laughs> it's probably not. Making the worst start to Hollywood summer season since 1995. Wait, what? Since 1995? It is the worst start to a Hollywood summer season. You know, when the summer season kicks off in movies, that's big. That's your Star Wars movies. That's your whatever. The uh, Infinity Wars came out around the, about the time the summer began, and the End Games and all that stuff. It's big. Everybody runs to the movies as the summer starts. Well, Fall Guy made the most disappointing debut since 1995. What was going on in 1995? What was even? What were even the movies in 1985? Let's see. As there was there wasn't there a Star Wars movie that came out? Die Hard with a Vengeance came out in 1995. Okay. Looks like also Braveheart. Is that right? Twelve Monkeys. Bruce Willis. Ooh, Bruce Willis was big that year. Waterworld. Hmm. And here's today's podcast picture. Seven with Brad Pitt. And Morgan Freeman, and then there was Dangerous Minds, which had that great song with uh, with Coolio doing that, taking a bit of the Stevie Wonder song. Spin in half our lives, da 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 da, it's the paradise. Um, and I always forget what was the Paradise song that. It's called Pastime Paradise. I always forget Pastime Paradise. Stevie Wonder. So amazing. The late great Basil the Boxer. He likes St- Stevie Wonder too. Oh, did you know that that Pastime Paradise song that Coolio ripped off? I'm not a big fan of him. He's done some things. He's done some he he doesn't treat women very well from what I hear. He's a uh, a little bit of a a male scum when it comes to women, the way he treats women. The song was one of the first par- pastime paradise to use a synthesizer really to sound like a full string section. That wasn't a full string section? No, it was a synthesizer. Stevie Wonder put it together. Built initially from synth tracks rather than from a drummer setting uh, the basic rhythm. The song is augmented with rhythm, rhythm performances from Ray Maldonado, Bobby Hall, and Wonder. And there's a chinging bell pattern that is performed by Hare Krishna musicians. Oh. Now that's legit. Let me tell you, in 76, if you went to an airport, you were going to get a flower from a Hare Krishna. In fact, if you see the movie Airplane, it's got it's got the Hare Krishnas in it. Amish Paradise, Weird Al Yankovic, is, of course, based on Gangsta's Paradise, which ripped off Pastime Paradise. Thank you so much, Coolio. Oh, and you know, Coolio died. That's right. He was only 59. He died about two years ago. Wow. 
I forgot about that. Well, sorry to speak ill of the dead, but that's what I heard about him. Let's see. His personal life. He had 10, what? 10 kids? Wow. He, let's see, was born, uh, he was, uh, looks like he was married only once. To Josefa Josefa Salinas They were married from 96 to 2000 And Okay They were In July 2008 It says That he and Jazz I can't believe What the hell is this place anyway It is Cafe Anyway Somewhere in Podcastro Valley It says Jazz saxophonist Suarez Were enlisted as spokespersons For the group Environmental Justice And Climate Change To educate students At historically black colleges And universities About climate change Okay And also He was a spokesperson For the Asthma And Allergy Foundation Of America As his children Were asthmatic Oh we also had a show Called Cooking with Coolio and Coolio's rules And He was the running mate For pornographic film actress Sherry DeVille's Democratic presidential run in 2020 For that election That year Really? Four years ago That campaign ended um, Though in 2019 And then he had a bunch of legal issues Huh? He was discovered unresponsive on the bathroom floor of a friend's house in Los Angeles, September 28, 2022, and was pronounced dead at the scene by first responders. Hmm. It appeared that he may have died from an accidental overdose of fentanyl, heroin, and methamphetamine with a cardiomyopathy, chronic asthma, anyway. and... Cigarette smoking having played a role in his death Wow He was cremated in a private ceremony With a portion of his ashes Encased in jewelry for his family And the rest put into an urn As we go outside a cafe anyway Somewhere in Podcastro Valley The last place on earth So that's how long it's been Somewhere in the land of Ameritopica And our Topica today Is how bad that movie was The Fall Guy And it came out a long time ago at the last place on earth Let's see um, That would be The Fall Guy movie Well Lee Majors was in the original TV show With Heather Thomas That's right She played Jody Banks And the, the movie I think has a cameo from all of them But it is Ryan Gosling Emily Blunt is in it Okay So there's this other movie That is called Well There's an upcoming Superman movie I, I don't know if they're just Going to call Good Superman morning, Mr. Matthews Thank you class We're learning things About movies today David Cornsweet Is going to Become the next Superman He is 30 He starts In the Official The first official photo From the upcoming Superman reboot Came out this week uh, the movie, the reboot Will be directed by James Gunn This is the same James Gunn Who did the, the, what's the, the Guardians of the Galaxy stuff As I recall That's right, right? Yeah, sounds about right Yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy and Suicide Squad Writer, director Gunn Said in a series of previous social media posts That a future Superman movie He has been writing for a while And will center around An earlier part of Superman's life What? Back on Krypton? What? Smallville? What? What we've seen it all Over and over and over again What is he going to bring new to it? In April of 2023 He said the next Superman Has to be someone Who has all the humanity That Superman has But he's also an alien It's got to be somebody Who has the kindness And compassion That Superman has And be somebody Who you want to give a hug Okay And it's apparently Going to come out In about a year July 11th of next year So Okay I Colossal I'm not ready for that but it is, it sounds like a colossal waste of time and money. 
Corn Sweat, who starred in Netflix Hollywood series and appeared in the slasher film Pearl, joins a long list of actors to play Superman, including George Reeves, Christopher Reeve, Kirk Allen, Brandon Routh, and Henry Cavill. So that's the other thing that says here. Oh, the marvelous Ms. Maisel actress Rachel Bruzanahan is going to be Lois Lane. And there's a bunch of other people in this movie that I've never heard of before. But let's see. Skylar Gassando. Nicholas Holt is going to be Lex Luthor. Isabella Merced Anthony Kerrigan And Nathan Fillon Ah Nathan Fillon from Firefly And what was that show he had for a zillion years? Bones? No That was the guy from The, the, the vampire movie TV show What was Nathan F- Castle Was that Nathan Fillon's show? Anyway Cafe anyway Outside of Cafe anyway Somewhere in Podcast Valley. The last place on earth Also In other interesting news Nathan Fillon Was Oh wow That's wild Wild Wow that's wild Oh he's gonna be Green Lantern Discusses his role as Green Lantern And highlights the appeal of imperfection Oh I did not know about this All this comic book stuff I should listen to more Comic book stuff Type podcasts He is going to be Green Lantern in the upcoming James Gunn Superman movie Ah okay And He has uh, Let's see Nathan Fillon Let's see here The Dr. Horrible Sing Along Blog Do you remember that back when blogs were Somewhat interesting And I think it was an internet only show And it had uh, Neil Patrick Harris in it Who was recently on Doctor Who Playing the evil toy master Celestial toy master guy But let's see Castle that's it And he's also Bison Bentley's Do you know that? Hey this is Bison Bentley And Mike Matthews has a couple of stories That'll make you want to ask yourself do you know that? Do you know yes, that? Do you did know you know that? that? You, know that? You, know you know that he was born in 1971 in Edmonton, Alberta. And that he was also on the TV show The Rookie, which I know a couple of people who love that show that started back in 2018. Okay, enough about enough about Nathan. How about Apple will finally release new iPads? Apple's going to release its calcified iPad lineup for the first time. In more than 18 months This happened this this week Also Madonna concert There was a Madonna concert recently That was in Brazil's Copacabana Beach It attracted a crowd of 1.6 million people Rio welcomed an extra 170 flights to its airports Copacabana hotel bookings were up At 98% capacity And there was an estimated $49.5 million I don't know what money they use in Rio What's the name of the money That they use But that was injected into the economy Uh, In Brazil I bet Brazil is very happy Do you have any safe spaces? Safe spaces? Yes, where people can go to get away from the colonialist mentality As long as there's a diversity, equity, and inclusion policy We'll be fine (sighs) The Brazilian real Is the official currency of Brazil It's subdivided into 100 centavos Okay So back to what that was all about And hopefully this is a safe space for you Americans bought 1.6 billion dollars worth of ramen Over the past year Yes since last year A year ago today Let's say 1.6 billion dollars worth of ramen That is up 72% Well since 2000 But dang people love ramen What's not to love? 
<laughs> Except for the carbs But it's delicious And overall I mean The broth and everything Is good for you We've got a place called It's not a ramen place But it's called Pho Play In Podcaster Valley I've not tried it yet But I hear good things Berkshire Hathaway Now we talked a little bit about this In an earlier podcast this week But they had their big annual shareholders meeting Last weekend Buffett was there Of course his longtime partner That's enough, put down the mic No, that wasn't him That's not his longtime partner That guy Uh, Charlie Munger passed away Um, But It was Berkshire Hathaway held its 2024 annual meeting In front of around 18,000 In Omaha, Nebraska And it was uh, CEO Warren Buffett Who turns 94 in August this year Um Let's see, he says I not only hope you come next year I hope I come next year Was what he said And that was Let's see, he, Charlie Munger Had passed away He was, Charlie had, was 99 when he passed away Last year, amazing Berkshire's operating profits Rose 39% Note to self Yes, so they're doing very well To a record $11.2 billion And I hear they don't have it They've got it in like Bonds or something To that effect Some some other kind of investment Not necessarily Buying New companies That kind of thing They're, they're taking it easy In fact Berkshire continued To trim its stake In Apple Though uh, Tim Cook Was in the audience Apple CEO Berkshire continued to trim its stake in uh, Apple and American Express and Coca-Cola are wonderful businesses. Apple is an even better business, he said. Warren Buffett. Berkshire has more than $182 billion in cash. That's what I heard. They got a pile of cash that they're just sort of being really careful with. $182 billion. Buffett thinks humanity might one day regret letting the genie out of the AI bottle We talked a little bit about that And about how he was fooled by a video AI making it look like he had said something On video But it wasn't him He mentioned the AI scamming Is going to be the growth industry of all time That's what AI is going to make the most money of Is scamming us So we must be more aware Must be aware more than ever You and I about that Oh look who just poured me some root beer Oh my god, make delicious root beer. I'm the brewmaster. Drink it right now. <laughs> you know, I'm going to drink it right now despite it not being Mike Toverfest yet. Mmm. What's in that? Mint. Not peppermint? No, just mint. Mint. I don't like mint, but it makes everything taste like the uh, toothpaste. But thank you. Don't make you drink right now, cut you. <sighs> I don't like threats. But who does? What else? Oh, look who else is here. Hi, Mike. It's Benita the Rodeo Queen. Hey, guys. You and I brought my horse nearly along. <laughs> and this girl to fill up there, tell you what. Don't try to gain me. No. Why are these people laughing? Because I guess they've never seen a horse before? What is this about? Why are they... Burger huh. Master. I know. Oh my. Is it Mike Toberfest yet? Oh. God. No, instead it is. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. So, okay. What do you think about all that stuff we covered today? It's just an amazing, big, huge, amazing world. Mike Matthew? You not know Mike Matthews. Uh huh. Really? M- Eminem. Eminem. Dude, we got Eminem. Eminem. We got Eminem. No, I'm not that Eminem. I, I'm not the, the real guy. Eminem. There you go. He had a lot of anger issues, that one. I don't, I'm not that one, though. But thank you. Thank you for thinking of me. And Okay. If you would like to call in and maybe contribute to the anarchy that appears at the end of this show from time to time... 
Here is the number in which you can call me. Here. Call Mike at the Cafe Anyway Hotline. Area code 510-228-4640. And with all things Mike's Daily Podcast, catch the podcast pictures that I've done. I've done over 2,819 of them. And you can catch past podcasts uh there is nothing no links to me on tiktok because i don't think i exist on tiktok anymore they decided to take me down and get rid of me because they realized i wasn't using the app they want you to use the app so they can go into your phone and take all your just think of all the stuff we save on our phones now i we got to be aware about that too be very careful of that kind of thing AI and that all the apps we put on our phone. Anyway, to contact me, here's a friend. Mike's TV podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at Mike's TV podcast.com. Email Mike now at Mike's daily podcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.